this just feels so magical. Ever since the day we got together, every single day has felt like a dream. Boy you can say that again. Okay. This just feels so magical. Ever since the day we got together, every single day has felt like a dream. <laughs> Sorry about that I keep forgetting. Forgetting what sweetheart? Nothing, oh my gosh I'm about to lose it again. <laughs> oh my gosh! Don't lose it Paula, I'll help you find it baby. <laughs> um, I don't understand. You lost something and it made you laugh? <laughs> oh my god I am sorry about that. I wasn't trying to laugh but it's just really cute when you misunderstand things. No! Oh my gosh! Not again! Why do I always act so gosh dang stupid? Please don't call yourself that. It isn't true at all. I came out here to be romantic, but I ended up doing this instead. Oh my god I am so sorry. This is my fault I am so sorry for laughing. No! This is my fault! I'm sorry! Baby it's my fault? Arg. No Paula I'm the one who screwed up. No it was me. You're Paula you never mess up. I am the one who messed up. If I never mess up then we'd have some popcorn. Popcorn? Screw that stupid stuff. I've got the most beautifulest. The most kindest and sweetest lady in the whole world standing right in front of me, staring at me with the sweetest, most softest hazel eyes. <laughs> Gosh no, if there is really someone here who's that pretty they must be standing paying me. <laughs> oh Paula you still don't know how to take a compliment. You know how to give them, but why do you give them all to me? Because you're my girlfriend. And even if you wasn't my girlfriend I would still feel this way about you. Except I'd be crying. Like Jeremy. I am pretty sure I can hold back the question, why the heck his cousin ever liked me in the first place? But he came out here to be romantic. I can think of some really romantic things, but they may be a bit too over the top. Oh heck Paula what have you to lose? Hey sweetheart, mind if I knock down the tree over there? Um. I guess. But why? Well they're planning on developing the land soon anyway, and I was gonna save the seeds so they can be replanted. But I have plans for the tree. Okay. Well I knew it was a bad idea to learn how to do that from watching Arlene. That whole entire side is splintered. This rock should do. Now, to carve carefully. Well I got the beak crooked, but it should still be able to float. Want to climb aboard sweetheart? Oh my gosh! Paula but how? That looks amazing! Well not really. I got the beak and left eye crooked, and the right wing's not shaped right. Baby, how on earth did you make this? Well I used the stone to whittle the trunk. And as far as the face goes that's just dried tree sap but the tree itself is white inside. <laughs> I can't believe you actually answered my question. It was one of those questions you said it to just say, thank you, when asked. Oh um whoops how clumsy of me. Thanks sweetheart. This is so romantic. If not for your mommy's belief that kissing someone means you have to marry them. Um. But then again you're really sweet and absolutely gorgeous. Anyone would have to be a complete idiot not to want that. Or dead. I'm an idiot and I'm still smart enough to want you. You're absolutely gorgeous. And... Amazing! Good heavens no I am not. It was my grandpa that used to believe that. He said that people said stuff like that because there were too many people and they didn't want anyone falling in love and making more. But my mom kissed my dad nearly every day when they were dating. But then again they did get married. I guess if I can wear Arlene's pants and my mom's underwear, 
and if I can ride on a bull for ten more seconds then Arlene can even with a head cold and a broken arm. Um, wow. I guess Arlene really wasn't being humble. She told me about that.